This is Avram Pelch for Laptop Magazine, and we're here today with the Lenovo IdeaPad S10, and we're going to show you how easy it is to change the hard drive. Um, before we do, I uh, should uh, one thing I should mention for those of you who want to actually move your entire operating system and all of your programs without having to reinstall. Um, especially considering that uh, this system does not come with a Windows install disk. Um, you will probably want to, before you replace your hard drive, uh, use a program, an imaging program um, to back up your entire um, disk to an external drive. Um, as it turns out, the IdeaPad S10 comes with a program called One Key Restore. Uh, which is supposed to do this, uh, but uh, we prefer um, we prefer a Cronus True Image, uh, so we use that. And clearly, if you're going to be using an imaging program, uh, you're going to need uh, an external hard drive to put the image on, uh, at the, or at the very least, you're going to need an external uh, optical drive to. Uh, boot your restore disk off of and potentially uh, to store your data on. So, um, but we're gonna we're gonna skip that uh, because that's really up to you what you choose to do. Some some users will just want to start fresh with a whole new operating system. Perhaps they want to install Linux or a different version of Windows. Um, so, real simple. We're going to turn our computer over, and uh, you see that for the for just replacing the hard drive, all we really need is a little Phillips head screwdriver, a replacement hard drive, and um, a couple minutes of time. Uh, before we did this, we grounded ourselves so we wouldn't fry uh, either the new or old drive with static electricity. All we're doing is just loosening these two screws here. Um, gotta really undo them and give it a little bit of a pull just remove the panel and as you can see here is the 5400 RPM serial ATA hard drive uh, 2.5 inch serial ATA hard drive that the S10 comes with very standard size very easy to get it and inexpensive to get a replacement drive um, and you can put in a 7200 RPM drive for more speed you can go up to higher capacity and or you could put in an SSD uh, which is what we're doing here in our demo, uh, but of course it, it doesn't really matter whether this is an SSD or not, the instructions would be the same. So we're just going to remove the four screws here. You see that we pulled our drive very easily out. It wasn't even screwed down in here. Basically, um, once you remove the panel, there's nothing else holding it in place. You just have to remove the bracket here by pulling out these four screws. Really, really simple. Pull out these four little screws. Put them down. Take your old hard drive out from the bracket. Put the bracket down. Pick up the new hard drive or the SSD, the new drive that you're using. And what you want to do is make sure that the drive, um, you'll notice, has two um, little connectors here for the serial ATA. You want to make sure that the smaller connector is, fa is facing you because that's how it's going to align with the serial ATA port uh, on the laptop. Um, so you hold it like that and you're going to obviously slide it into the mounting bracket and screw it in. So you notice in uh, most cases that means the sticker is going to be side down and of course the, uh, the teeth of the connector here are right by the little plastic tab. And we're just going to take a moment to affix the different uh, screws, the little screws back into the bracket. So now that we've uh, attached all four screws to the bracket again and everything's nice and tight, we're going to take our drive, the teeth facing toward the uh, serial ATA port, and just slide it right in, 
pull on the tab and it locks into place and uh, there's no more nothing else to be done except just to put the panel back on and snap the panel into place and screw it back in and that's it um, what you'll want to do at this point obviously is either install a new operating system or do your system restore um, and uh, enjoy the additional speed power or, or capacity that you're that you're getting